What's up guys? Today's plan is to work on the S10 some more. Now that the transmission's in and the exhaust is probably 75% done, I uh, just have to decide on the muffler, like I said in the last video. Today's plan is to pull the interior out, start figuring out where the computer's gonna mount, and then start running the wiring harness through the engine compartment and under the hood to uh, hook everything up to the engine. So let's get to it. I have the interior um, mostly taken apart. The dash is pretty much taken apart. Uh, the heater and all that is already out, of course. Uh, so I'm gonna pull this bench seat out. And uh, I don't know if I'll, I might leave the carpet in so I have somewhere to lay. Maybe I'll give it a quick vacuum. But I'm gonna get the seat out and then I'm gonna get in there and try to figure out where the computer's gonna go. All right, so as you can see, I got the uh, seat out. I got the carpet, I just gave it a quick vacuum so I'm not laying in leaves and other dirt. Uh, so now I'm gonna get in there and I am gonna try to figure out where this computer is gonna go. Okay, so you can see I have the computer mounted in here above the radio. Um, I need to make kind of a tab that goes from this up to there. I already made one on the other side. And then uh, right now the computer's in there and it's pretty sturdy, but once I make another bracket, it'll be really good. All right, guys. Well, I'm under the dash here. I'll bring you under, I hope you can see. So there's the computer, there's that bracket. And there's that bracket there. Um, it's pretty sturdy. I'm gonna put some uh, foam around the computer on the back side, maybe some two-way tape or something to keep it. But I think once the wires are on, I think it should be pretty good. And uh, there's the hole that the wires are gonna go through, which is an original hole from the S10. So I'm gonna plug in the computer and stick them through there. Private one-on-one. -on -one. Shut the door behind your video session with Rob. Yeah. You want to come in? <laughs> no, there's not room for me in. All right, so it's the next day. I'm out here working on the truck again, and uh, I'm starting on the wiring, actual wiring itself. Here you can see what I have is this one here I already did. This is the uh, crank sensor. So I covered it in this loom, ran it down, cut the wires and sh uh, soldered them. I mean, you can't see that plug down there. Uh, so the next thing, if you see all these wires here that extend out to this far past the truck, um, one of these is the cam sensor, one of these is the map, and one of them, wherever it is, is the knock sensors. But you can see how long the wires are considering the cam sensor is right there. So I have to cut these wires that short, re-solder them, add this black loom to it, uh, and then do the same with like these knock sensors. I believe the map sensor, I'll grab it for you and show you. I actually got a map sensor from a supercharged um, cobalt. So it's a two and a half bar. Uh, and it has just has this kind of barb fitting on it. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my intake, which is here. I am going to drill and tap this hole right here and put a barb fitting on it. And then I'm gonna run a vacuum line from there. I'm gonna mount this inside the truck somewhere, kind of like where the fuse box is. And then I'll wire inside the truck so it'll be totally out of the way of the engine compartment and just a vacuum line will run inside. It's kind of like how my MS3 Pro is where the map sensor's built into the MS3 Pro box. I'm gonna do it that way, then I don't have to worry about this falling off or coming loose or being able to get at it if I have to change it. I'm gonna shorten these wires and then solder the plug on. So there's the cam sensor. It goes in there, it's covered. Um, what I did with the uh, knock sensors is the wire was really, really long, so I actually just ran it inside the truck and then uh, I plugged it in inside the truck. And then, like I said, with the map sensor, I'm gonna mount it in the truck, so I haven't done it yet. Um, and this one here is the coolant temp sensor. Once again, as you can see, it's really super long, so it's just gotta be cut. So, I mean, all I'm doing is cutting these, sliding that black wrap over, and then soldering them back together making them shorter and making them fit nice. Now I'm doing the idle air control valve, throttle position sensor, the alternator wire, the coolant temp sensor. So I have all the wires tied up nice here in a nice pile. And they're gonna run here. And then each one of those is just gonna get shortened and uh, soldered just like the rest. All of these will get shortened and soldered and then uh, wrap with that loom and it should look pretty good. 
So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so you can see I got the throttle position sensor and the idle air control valve done. The uh, coolant temp sensor here, with all that braided stuff. And then uh, that all joins together there. And of course, when the harness goes in, it'll get all like zip tied or whatever, so it's all nice and tight. And then I actually did the uh, this coil, shortened it up, so it's right here, and it goes in there. And then I don't know if you can see in there, but the wires for the other side are just like this right now, because that's kind of how it's going to go. And then. Uh, you can see that's them and they're going to be connected to there. So those just have to be soldered together. Um, but I'm going to go in the house now, so I will do that tomorrow. So uh, we'll continue this tomorrow. What's up guys? So it's the next day. I'm out here working on the truck again. I'm doing the uh, passenger side coils. Here is coming from the computer. And here is the harness that goes to the uh, to the coil. I had to turn off that music. I don't want to get the copyrights. So I covered the wires with this black uh, stuff, covering stuff. And then I just uh, use vice grips to kind of hold it back so that I can get at the wires. Then I'm just going to solder these. I already put shrink tubing on these wires right here. And then I'll shrink tube them and then let this vice grip go. And this will slide over all of this. Not all the way, but enough that covers what's under the hood. And then this coil uh, pack will be done. And as you can see, there's still uh, a mess of wires. Um, I mean, this big pile here is for the transmission, but uh, it's slowly getting there. You can see I got them all soldered. Um, this pink wire and the black, the black goes to ground, which is a ground inside the harness, which is this big black cluster, which I'm gonna clean up some. And then the pink is the one that goes to the fuse box. So those ones are separate right now and they'll get attached later. All right, so there, now you can see that one's all done. Uh, the pink and the black wire are underneath this harness here under these, this covering So I'll have to pull it back to get it out extend those wires some but uh, that's basically one coil harness and I don't know if you can really see we can get the light out here. Those are all the ones that I've already done That are black going through the firewall. I'm gonna have to try to find a big grommet to go in there but uh, Oops, that's kind of what we're looking at the O2 sensors I think our next, my next step. So I'm gonna look at uh, which wires are for those and start figuring those out. I got the uh, O2 sensors all done. Here's the other one. Goes there, around there. And then now I'm working on the injector harness. So here's the uh, one side injector harness. This is the passenger side one. As you can see, it's like really, really long. And uh, what I gotta do on this one is cut these plugs off and switch them to these EV6 plugs because that's the injectors I'm using. So I have to cut these off and solder them, cover them, and then reattach all these wires. Slayton and Mike are here and they are doing engine things for the shit horse. We took it to the car wash. It's almost brand new again. As you can see. Yeah, but uh, it actually cleaned up pretty good. I mean, in Got here. Lots of Consider Most Considering of how lot. gross and dirty this engine was, the um, we used the oven cleaner method. It actually worked out pretty good. And there's the injector harness for this side done with those new plugs. And actually, I got these plugs from the junkyard, so I never bought them. And uh, these two wires here are for the intake air temp sensor. So I ran them through the same harness. They come out here. And I'll put it on the truck and make sure it fits good. And then I got to attach all these wires, solder them back to the computer. All right, so I got the other uh, injector plugs all in soldered in everything's in so uh pretty much that's almost all of the engine under hood wiring uh, i still have to hook up the um, intake air temp sensor so there's the wires and i'm gonna have to plumb it into the intake here somewhere probably drill a hole put it in there somewhere so that still has to be done as you can see there's a lot less wires i hid the transmission ones under the carpet but i still just have to deal with um, these grounds and then a lot of these wires here are ones that go to like key power and constant power. And then these ones go to like fuel pump and stuff. And here's the map sensor, shortened it up. So I'm gonna mount it somewhere like just in the dash here where I'm gonna have my fuse block right here. And then uh, this'll go somewhere around here. Then it's easy access if I need to change it or have a problem with it or anything. That's gonna be it for this video. Uh, next time, hopefully we'll uh, 
finish up the wiring, get that fuse block in, all that stuff, and uh, getting ever so closer to getting this thing running. So, uh, like always, like, comment, share, subscribe, you know, tell your friends, and uh, we'll check you later. Mm -hmm.